guys, what's going on? It is Roger Death here, and today we're going to be doing a replayed game of me playing Quinn. Because I got her. I got her first day, actually. Uh, this is the first time I really played her in a real game. I've been playing a lot of Mass Effect 3 with Ninja lately, and as you've seen, there's been an upload of that. Now, this is because of the way that this video is. It's an exception to the rule of I usually only upload once a day. I'm going to upload this, you know, right after recording it, basically, when I'm going to school. So... I take Quinn top in this game, and the reason I'm doing that is that um, Miss Fortune was very adamant on going ADC. Or this guy was. He was also first pick in lobby, so I guess I can't really get too pissed at him. But I'm going up against a Thresh, who I've never really gone up against top. And he started double rejuvenation beads, three pots, so he's got lots of freaking regen. I think we have the same base move speed, but I started boots and three potions. We've got a jungle Darius, my favorite. A jungle Darius is so fun and amazing. Meanwhile, Tarek ranks up the wrong ability first. He gets his W instead, and instead of his Q or his E. I'm sorry, I don't play Tarek, so I'm I'm very bad with that. <laughs> um, so he doesn't get dazzle. Now, I need to do some refining with with this uh, this kit. For my AD set. I need to get rid of cool gun reduction, which is something that's in there. But so you know, it's typical stuff for the first little bit. Yeah, they 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 steal red. They steal enemy jungle. Nothing unusual there. Well, kind of unusual. Nothing super duper unusual. Darwin almost dying to the blue. Oh, that's weird. Showing the normally Quinn's thing shows up as a as a yellow reticle reticule on somebody like that, but it's not because it's a replay. So Darius picks up first blood and then a double kill, a, another kill bot. So we start out two kills in the lead, which is cool. Darwin's stealing our red because we took his. Uh, he he doesn't even realize. He thinks he's screwing us over. Unfortunately, I realize. Oh crap! That's a gank. Too late. And so I get like all the. It wasn't really much I could have done at that point, but I did try and retreat. Meanwhile, I'm getting bitched at a collie. Yo, that us mobility. Because she's bitching at me for starting boots first. I don't know. However, point of this is actual Quinn. Quinn's very, very fun to play. She can be difficult to play, but she's very rewarding when played right. She's an atypical uh, attack damage carry, or ADC, in that she's kind of split between the idea of doing ADC and Bruiser. She's got the range of the ADC, but she kind of wants to gear as a bruiser. Uh, and I'll explain that once I hit 6. Uh, just so you can see. But it, it's a big deal. It's, it's trying to figure out the optimal build for Quinn. What items to get when, where to go for what, yada yada yada. And the main reason to think for this is, is like I said, it's that oh, it doesn't show up the show the cool smart pings. Um, and the reason I think it's so difficult is is the balancing between them. She, she's two things at once, and in order to get really the best of both worlds, you're sacrificing something from each. That said, I go more ADC in this game. Probably not the best idea I've had. But it's my first real game playing her. I've only played her in a bunch of AI games up to this point. Both on PBE and not. So, basic overview of her abilities. As we pause the game. Where is the pause button? Yeah, pause the game. Q, blinding assault. Valor goes, gets sent out to blind. Heightened senses is the W. And it's got both pass. It's got two passives technically and an active. So that was uh, the Q. That was blinding assault. It sends Valor out, hits an enemy, blinds all enemies nearby that enemy, and does damage to them as well. Um, 
The passive marks a target, uh, as indicated by that little, I guess right now it's see, by that reticule there. It's purple right now, but normally it's not. Anyway, the components of heightened senses. There are a few. The first one, and it's the one that's most likely to notice, is that uh, anytime you hit a target that's marked out by Valor, you will gain extra attack speed for a few seconds. What do you see up there? That was the active. Notice how I now see. Let's show. Let's just show purple perspective. Notice how I see all of this. I see in the bushes. I see all around. I see areas I normally shouldn't. And that's because it lights up an area around me for two seconds. Meanwhile, if we go back a bit. I said back, not forward. Whatever. So we get the blind again. And then there's Vault, her last ability. Where she dashes to the enemy, jumps back off of them, and marks them. So right now her attack speed's kind of lackluster. It's not the greatest. It's not the worst ever. Uh, but it's, it's okay. So the solution to this is notice that she just killed an enemy that marked and went up to 0.9 because this gives a 20% attack speed bonus. The second component of the passive is that when shifted into Valor using the ultimate, he gets twice that bonus permanently. Not temporarily. Vault does a little bit of damage, but doesn't do a lot. The main deal of it is to mark a target. To allow for that kind of damage really quickly. Didn't need to do it, but I did anyway. And here is the ultimate tag team. Shifts into, she teleports out, Valor comes in, and starts wrecking people. You can activate it again to do that little hail of arrows to do damage based on how much life they have left. Uh, I kind of wasted it there and should have stayed in Valor for a little bit longer. But I did good damage, and I survived, which is the most important part. Darius is low on health, but it's Darius, so nobody gives a crap. He's, he's just stupid deadly. So, yeah. If used correctly in a team fight, that can hit every enemy. Uh, and and maybe be a mass execute. All off of the same cast. You don't have to... It's not like Darius. Slice your face off! Slice your face off! Slice your face off! You have to cast it multiple times. Each t one time. Oh. One time for... Uh, oh, no. Let's, let's, uh, no actually, let's let's stay on purple. One time for each person to use it on. That's just an AoE one. So it has the potential to be better. In practice, it requires a lot of effort to get it to be anywhere near that good. The, the timing, especially at level 1, level 2 gets a little better, but um, timing level 1 is extremely difficult to pull off correctly. Just because of how the dam way the damage works. It's kind of unusual. sure I don't push the lane even though I do fail it last hitting a lot I am being out CS'd which is lame so he does get the benefit on me there for a minute actually for the entire engage really but I get away because of flash unlike because I have it unlike him and I just start using potion okay, you know I, 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 should, I don't need to go back I can handle this if he engages again, I can take him. Or if I engage when it's a good time. Also, Darius. Um, he got a little carried away with his ult there, didn't he? I never noticed that. <laughs> oh, Darius. So I've used both my potions. I'm just like, yeah. Um, hmm. I really actually can't do this. He's got more health than me. And he's got a lot more health than me. He's at 763. I'm at 507. I'm much, much lower. Bork. Blade of the Ruined King. 
expect to see that a lot more in your games because that thing's buffed to, high, to extreme heights. Scales really well for t on tank against tanks. So it's, it's really nice. I, of course, do my ping of enemy missing. Check to make sure he's not here. Yeah, he wasn't. And the game kind of pursues like this. But just can mega winning. Darius continuing to be Darius and win. Me being okay. Getting a vampiric. And so that works. I don't want to spend the extra money to get my boots right away when I could save it for a BF. However, this means that he's actually got more damage than me at the time. I think he actually has more lifesteal as well. Just a little bit. Darius comes in and is like, pull him out. Well, that's kind of hard to do because I'm just last hitting and I'm, I'm winning. So, what do? Did he get health items? I think in the actual oh, items that increased his health. So, why do I have less health? By such a big rate of I like to specify what's going on here, so we're gonna slow down and we're gonna go back. So we can revisit. Dice decides, well, F that. Oh! Hey, there's a charm in here! We uh, So we start two fights at top. Both different ones. Here's, uh. Here's a good example of how to play as a team. We just kinda take out two people at once in two different fights. And, hey, there's a tower here. Mm, we're gonna take that tower. Because there's two of us here. And it's a Darius. Darius is just completely broken. This is Darius. Wow, of all the landers on my team, I actually have the worst CS. That's actually embarrassing. It's better than Ash there mid, though. So I'm okay with that. Misfortune dies because she and Tarek went balls deep in to try and kill them, and then just Tarek just backed off like way early. Mostly because he had no life. So I decided, you know what, I'm actually going to get a Blade of the Rune King. It scales well because of the way that the damage profile is. It, it gives the extra attack speed, gives life steal, and some attack damage. But it's mostly the attack speed because the attack speed's amazing on her. Uh, did not finish boots. Still no finished boots. <laughs> Darius just being a badass. Oh, hey, look, it's. Uh oh. Oh, God. Yeah, nothing really could have been done there, so. Whatever. Shit happens. Jarvan almost died, though. Just make sure to ward so I know Jarvan doesn't come up and flank me. Because I didn't realize quite how low he was. So, really? It, it's... How do I feel about Quinn? Very, very, very fun. Very strong, if played properly. And if you've actually got practice with her. <laughs> that was my issue. Uh, and, and this was kind of stupid of me. I tried to use um, Valor to get out. But I was mega trapped. Wow. Sensitivity went up high. Damn it. So, that happened. I mean, shit does happen. You, you can't prevent it from ever not happening. So, big fights. Big fights. Just clearing top really quickly thanks to the attack speed and damage given by my Blade of Ruined King. You see, big fight going down here, so what do you know? I'm gonna come join in. No, you know what? No, never mind. I'm not. Oh god, yes, yes, I probably should. Let's get some incredible bursting. Thresh died, but. Get the kill. So let's. Uh oh. That's not good. Valor! Hiya! Sniped. Uh oh. 
Jarvan and Flat. Oh, it's okay. Akali's here. We win. And I get a killing spree now. I went from 2 2 0 to 5 2 and 0 in a single team fight. That's also going to give us a tower. I believe. Yeah. We get the tower. He heard a lot there because it was his first attack since he spawned. That's the only reason he actually did the kind of damage that he did. Meanwhile, I'm just back here trying to farm up some health. <laughs> but this is kind of the theme of the game. Quinn is extremely good. She can jungle if you have a really good rune set for her to do so. Why do I say that? Well, it's extremely, extremely, extremely risky doing it with my usual jungle rune set. I think attack speed instead of... Uh, um, cooldown would be better. Oh, apparently a blue team picked up dragon. Oh no! You make sure that uh, we, we minimize our losses pretty good there, and make sure that we come out ahead. And that's basically the game. Their team's pretty much given up at this point. Dervin continues to jungle. Our team continues to just gear up. Uh, looking back on it, I really don't think a Phantom Dancer was the best choice. I kept trying to justify it to myself during that. But I should have just gotten a, um, a Static Shiv. Would have been much better for me. And we get four kills really quickly in a good team fight. Ash decides to come along late. I mean, I mean, let's look at this team fight. Uh, let's watch how this unfolds. This is actually a really good example of a team fight. Maybe. I don't remember. So, Akali jumps in. Gets burst down really hard very early. I go in really slow. But do some good damage all around. Even if I didn't get kills. I got one kill. Against my nemesis Thresh. <laughs> I like that. And then Ash just comes in and is like, here, have some poke. You have some more poke, because I'm a bitch. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody decides, we want the ace. Here, have the ace. And we, from here, it's just basically victory. Like I said, Quinn's very fun. She's very strong. Her ultimate allows her to be an ultimate badass for 20 seconds because that's how long it lasts. But it's insane. It really is. Just because of the way that it works. It's really cool. And I have a better example of why she becomes such a badass in a minute once we start pushing some towers down. Uh, grab a BF sword for more attack damage. I mean, I'm already at 1.7 attack speed. I really don't need any more of that. I didn't realize we were actually doing it. So they're paying him like, oh, wait, we're actually doing this. Perp. Let's, uh, let's go kill it. I don't know if Baron can be blinded or not, but uh, it was worth a shot. We kill Baron. What the heck did I just do? There we go, we kill Baron. Now. They failed to surrender. And then we noticed there's an Ash over there, mainly because she slowed us, but then because of a good use of the very long cooldown heightened senses. Look at that. That's that's a huge, huge length. So we're gonna do a we're gonna split push. They're gonna take bot I'm gonna take top alone. Which is pretty insane. That's some pretty good attack speed there. But, but let me show you this. They've got four of them working on that tower down there. Look at how long it took them. Watch how long it takes Valor. What's a tower? Nom 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 nom. Insane attack speed burst. 2.2 attack speed. And I'm just like, 
Ooh, what can I do? Ooh, let's dash in here. Q, and then... Oh, damn. Um, Sona's just kind of hanging out. I somehow get credit for, for an assist on her, and I'm not entirely sure how. But I, I think Quinn, at least in my case, had a bit of a weak game. I, I definitely had a weaker game. I couldn't last hit a secure as well. And I got ga and that initial gank kind of put me behind a little. Jarvan was like to go top a lot. And not to mention, Thresh is just a hard person to kill, period. So that's my first game as Quinn, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time.